Well, hello there, everybody. It's been a little while since you've last saw this face, but uh, we have a little bit of a challenge today. Now, in celebration of Anno 1800's open beta, Ubisoft has sponsored this video and sent me a box with a challenge inside. So I want to thank Ubisoft for that. Uh, like I said, open beta is starting today on the 12th, and I believe it's ending on the 14th. All the information will be in the description of this video. And yeah, we have a challenge in Anno that we have to do today, so uh, they asked me to read this on screen. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we have to do. Okay, so we got a nice letter here. Dear Dragast, you are formally invited to compete in a two-part Anno 1800 challenge. Ubisoft has selected four creators to partake in this two unique challenges, pitting you all against each other to see who will reign supreme. These challenges will test your skills, your resolve, and your resourcefulness. Oh God. Your competition, Drew Durnhill, Blitz, and Alex the Rambler. Today you will take part in the first challenge, your mission, be the first to ach achieve a population of 10,000. It's a simple race against the clock and your rivals. The first creator to reach a population of 10,000 is crowned the victor. Make sure you enlist your viewers' support. Should you win this challenge, one of your viewers who replies to the tweet in the description of this video with the hashtag Anno1800 will win a custom-built Intel PC. And a copy of Anno1800, of course, as well. So no pressure. God, okay, so obviously, if I win this, one of you guys get a PC. That's a lot of pressure on me. I'm not the best at gaming. I mean, I think you guys know that. But I'm gonna give it my best shot, and I hope one of you guys are lucky enough to win. So yes, the, the hashtag will be in the description as well for the tweet. And just so you know, the game will be available for purchase on April 16th. What will be your strategy for success? How will you grow your population faster than anyone else? We can't wait to find out. You have three hours to complete this challenge starting now. Oh god, good luck. All right, well let's get into it. All right, so the pressure is on. The competition is to get to 10,000 residents and we are going to do our best to do that. Now the time starts, we have three hours to do this when we are done building this game mode. So we're gonna do less guidance and we get to pick our avatar here. So I'm thinking, who looks like a good leader? This guy right here, I'd let him lead me, so hopefully I'm a good leader with him. All right, and for the logo, you know what? I'm down for some pirate-type skulls and bones. Why not? And we're gonna go for the black flag. Why not? And I do not like that player name at all. So we're gonna be called Drayvon Gas. By the way, I am in this game as this name. Uh, so if you do see me while you're playing, feel free to tweet me. And uh, yeah, I just really like to see myself because I still have not seen it. All right, so we're gonna do a normal game. That's what we have to do, and we are starting. Time is starting. Now, so we got three hours from the time it's created, and time's already counting down. Okay, so here we are. Now, I'm gonna try my best to go fast because the winner of this tournament does get a computer for a random uh, viewer in his following. So if you tweet it out, uh, link will be in the description, you do have a chance of winning. So right now, we're just gonna get some roads up. Uh, we're gonna put some where actually, yeah, warehouse down will be good at the start here, right by our port. Now, I've been testing this a little bit. The best way that I've seen to get a fast population is to not actually expand too much. So we're actually going to be doing that today. Age of Agriculture, here we come. Because if you look at these houses, they need needs to upgrade to the next tier of houses. That's kind of how this game plays. You go through different tiers. Uh, but yeah, I, like I said, I found the farmers have actually done really well if we don't go crazy and expand out to a bunch of different jobs. So basically, we're going to have a farming civilization, is what I'm saying. All right, so every place needs a marketplace, so we're gonna put that down. The farmers are content because they do have that farmers, or sorry, the market down now. Uh, so let's get these guys some jobs. Timber should be fun. So we're going to put timber. I mean, we got woods all over the place, as you can see, un uh, other natural resources and whatnot. Uh, I'd like to show you guys these, but I am in a speed running competition, basically. So we're gonna focus mostly on expansion. So get the timber down, get some jobs, get the happiness up. And when you have timber, you need a sawmill as well. So we're going to put the sawmill down close by the timber here and just keep going down the road here. So actually, what I'm going to do, uh, we're going to demolish this little road that I built. And I want to make this nice and long. The more houses, the better right now. So we're going to go all the way down to the end. And what I think we'll do, actually, we're going to move this market to the other side of this. And we're going to have a big residential area right here. 
Uh, I want to use as much space, or use as little space as we can. So yeah, we may as well get rid of that marketplace, put it over there. It will be used right there anyways. Now I'm going to drag the house up to the supply slots, because we're going to be doing a lot of those, obviously. Did I just do that wrong? Uh, oh, the house is already up there. Okay, so that's the marketplace. I guess we can keep that there. I doubt we're going to have another one anytime soon, though. All right, so now we've maxed it out. We're going to need more timber to get more residents. What are we at right now? Three minutes, and we're already at 50 residents. Not bad. But yes, let's build some roads out into the forest here, because we're going to need multiple timber mills. So we're just going to go crazy here and go down here. Explore the world a little bit. This does cost money, so I don't want to go too crazy with this. Uh, but we are going to have to spread these things out. Now, fisheries, obviously, as well. Let's get some fish in the inventory. And it looks like, yeah, we can just attach it right off our dock. I like this attention to detail, too. Look at this. When I put it over there, the docks actually form one. So, uh, yeah, smart little move there. I like the look of this. This looks good. We're just going to wrap this around like that. And bam, we have our first fishery once we have the missing cost, which we need more timber. So yeah, let's get the timber yards down. We're gonna need lots of timber today. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna keep busy by cutting down lots and lots of trees. Look at that, we can even have it right on the road here and have 100%. That's perfect. That's basically meaning how many trees are around it and how useful it is. And more timber is coming in. Now, does this guy need a warehouse down here? It looks like he's at 82%. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's actually doing pretty good, so that's good. Now, worker conditions, we can actually change the productivity of this as well, uh, which will drop the happiness Ooh, down. I don't really care about happiness right now, though. We are going to up by 50%, uh, so we're trying to output as much as possible. What's going on with the sawmill? Uh, no warehouse in range. All right, put a warehouse right beside you, bud. There you go. Okay, and I just realized I didn't have fast forward on, so I did lose some time there. Hopefully, uh... We're still a little bit ahead of the curve. I don't know. We're at 140 Game right now. Safe. It's going to take a while to get to 10,000. That's for sure. Game is saved. That's good. Still waiting for the timber to come in. Unfortunately, I guess it's because the sawmill doesn't have a place to store. So what we're going to have to do is actually relocate our small warehouse. And then once this other warehouse is built, we'll just bring that one over there. I don't know why. I guess it was a little too far away for them to travel over to that. Now we're storing some timber, though, uh, which is what we desperately needed. So we need 10 for this. We should get 10 in no time here. We want another warehouse down by these guys right over here. So there we go. Everybody's happy now. We're getting timber in the bank. Let's put another sawmill down as well because uh, the other one's probably not going to be able to keep up. Okay, and let's keep expanding out our roads, keep expanding our residential zones. We can start building these homes as well to get more residents in. Want to keep the jobs up, though. We have 100 people that don't have jobs right now. So, again, we're going to go hard on the fisheries and timber mills just to do this right. Actually, the fishery isn't up yet. That's right. Okay, so that should help out uh, with the jobs that we need. Actually, does it say how many... Doesn't actually say how many are in there, but now we're getting fish. And right beside the fishery, let's put another fishery. Do we have to bring a road over? It looks like if it, as long as it's attached to the dock, we are good to go. Actually, what's going on? Uh, looks like we're having warehouse issues. No warehouse in range. Okay, we'll throw another one down right where it's supposed to be anyways. There we go. And keep the homes a-coming. I, I think at this point, I want to see what happens... If we don't give these guys all jobs, you what's going on? What's Farmers offer you a delivery request. You can make better with what's already gold. Um, neighborhood had no time to prepare for the winter. Mama's knee forecast. Uh, specially wicked one this year. Have you some timber to spare for a fireplace? Yeah, oh, we'll so do that. Okay, also, let's get these guys some work clothes. So we're going to make some sheep farms over here. Now, the farms are pretty cool because you actually have to place the, uh, the land area. So what we're going to do... Can we put one back there? Yeah, we can. I'm thinking maybe ooh, what would be the best way to do this? You know what? We can probably do that like that. Okay, so two sheep farms. That should give some residents some jobs. And like I said, we're just going to go crazy with the workforce here. Looks like this strategy is working, though. I think we're going pretty damn fast. We already damn have safe. almost 500 residents. And I just did another row here, so we are good to go. We just have to worry about our money. We are in the negative right now. Oh, newspaper time. All right, so this is where I can, you know, basically lie and uh, tell my residents what I want them to hear. So we are going to edit this because we definitely don't want these people unhappy with me. So hypnosis? That sounds fun. Let's try that. Totally imperceptible. <laughs> you are happier than you think. So yes, we are literally making fake news right now. And spend some money, guys, because we need to earn some money. Oh, God! 
Oh no! What the? F Censorship uh oh. Is not uh, we don't even have a firehouse yet. That's corrupt. that's bad. We probably should have planned that out. Okay, so we gotta get the firehouse down. Tra training daring firefighters. You gotta train them quick, man. My world is freaking burning. I can't believe I forgot about the firefighters. Okay, well, this is gonna be a little bit of a setback. We may as well just speed up time and watch the world burn because we still have to uh, make all the other residents happy. So while those homes burn, let's add some more homes to the mix, why don't we? There we go, and going down the list here. This this is so easy to build, I love this game. All right, looks like the firefighters are on the job. You know what? We need jobs anyway, so let's head to firefighter stations just in case this happens again. Now, I've tested this game a lot. I've never had a house fire, so I didn't expect that to happen. Usually it's at, at like metal refinement and whatnot. Okay, well, at least they're doing their job. And the great thing about this game is you can fix all the destroyed buildings. So fear not, people. Your mayor is here and he's fixing everything except for, oh, it looks like if there's a fire in the vicinity, you can't actually do it. That's actually pretty cool. All right, so we're all good. Fire's done. We got firefighters now to address that. Hopefully, we don't have to deal with that again. Okay, we're just gonna go crazy now. I am building way too many farmers' residents, but that's okay. What's going on with the unhappiness here? Okay, luxury. Your people dislike... Okay, looks like we're getting working conditions pretty... Oh, working overtime. You know what? Let's actually drop that down. So, they don't like the fact that they have to work overtime on the timber yard. So... That's fine. We'll up it by just a little bit, and it looks like it's going to be a zero change. So let's actually see how much we can up it before... I guess we have to hit the change first to see it. But we're going to drop it a little bit. It's up 13%. Uh, let's get some more lumberjacks out, though. And keep those sawmills busy. I'll throw a couple more on just to get some jobs. And we're still <laughs> losing money. But you know what? It's not about longevity. As long as we get the 10,000, I'm happy. Uh, we might run into the negative here, which would give myself a little bit of a problem. Okay, these guys need a pub, so let's actually get these guys a pub, make everybody a little bit happier. There you guys go. That should hopefully help with the sadness that we got going on right now. Uh, at least a little bit, because I know that's a luxury good that they like. Well, it looks like at least we got the pub now. What else do they need? Schnapps. Okay, let's start working on that then. Let's make potato farms. Uh, get these guys some schnapps, because happiness is a thing, and we definitely want these guys to stay happy. So 72 for this thing. Well, obviously, potato farms are pretty Game damn big. Safe. All right, so what we're going to do, I think, is go down this road and go as far as we can. There we go. Potato I farm is up. We need storage, though. Yep, got it for you right over here. There you go. What are we doing? We, oh, we have a lot of wood right now. I'm slowing down on my on my house building, so let's keep it going. And look at that, we filled everything up. Oh, didn't realize that I was building in my housing area. That's all right. All right, so for the next housing area, we're going to expand this out a little bit because we don't need the forest on this side of the map. So we got 75 right now. That's the max we can own. So we're just going to go all the way down. You know what? Let's go from the other side just so we don't waste any area. And oh my god, I didn't realize you could do that. You could do two rows if you wanted to. Uh, which would probably be the better way. I, I like the idea of roads in between all the homes, though. It doesn't take a little too long to build these roads, either. Mind you, it does cost money, so probably not the most optimal of strategies. All right, let's see how everybody's doing here. So, yeah, the one thing they really need is the tailors. The only problem is the working conditions. There's not enough jobs, obviously, being that we are rapidly expanding. That's always going to be a problem. Back almost to max wood, so once again... I'm just trying to keep up with the population that we need. No, you know what? We are we are going to go to two. Screw it. Let's try this, and that's maxed out, so perfect. And we're going to bring this around like that. We are just building a civilization of farmers. I love it. Okay, and there we go, and we'll slowly build these as we get the wood that we need. All right, keep the fish coming just in case we need more. We don't need it yet, but we will soon, I feel like. Look at this place. Isn't it beautiful? I love it anyways. All right, you know what? Let's actually get... How's this sawmill doing? Production's at 88%. You know what we're going to do? We are going to move this because the homes have kind of encroached into its territory. So we're going to re relocate this up here, and we're going to put another one down too. Just because we got all this area here. So what I think I'm actually going to do is put multiples down. And that's just going to be always forest here, and we'll just connect to that, obviously. All right, so that should hopefully be enough snaps for a little while. Throw some snaps places down. Let's make sure everything's good right now. How we doing? We are cutting wood. We are officially at a population of 1,500. Man, it's going to be rough to try and get 10,000 on this island with just farmers. I like this, though. It's a little bit of a challenge, a little bit fun. 
All right, got to make sure the happiness is up, though. What else do we need? Working conditions, once again, and just luxury. So the luxury one, I don't think we can really do unless we upgrade the homes. And we're definitely not doing that yet. Okay, let's get some more pubs down. It looks like Snaps is increasing rapidly, but we do have a serious lack of pubs. And these guys clearly like to drink, man. So once again, we're going to throw some pubs down. We'll throw pubs kind of around the area here. And yeah, we'll keep these guys as happy as possible. But we really do need jobs. So what I think I'm going to do is get an abundance of fish because fish are easy to put down. So we're just going <laughs> to... We're just having a fishing farming village at this point. And there we go. Jobs for everybody, enjoy! And throw down another marketplace. So there we go. You know what, we're gonna throw one. We can do, actually, yeah, one here would actually be good by the pub. So yeah, we're gonna start expanding out once again because we have 63 wood. That's almost maxed out. Just wrap that just like that. Okay, farmer's homes, here we come again. Let's actually see, after I'm done this, how many people are in each home because they're not filled, that's for sure. So we still need residents to come. It's been pretty relaxed so far in terms of added features, but yeah. Uh, really the way you're supposed to play this game is do a couple of these and then move on. But like I said, this is, we're already at 2,200 now and counting. Just keep the homes a-going, man. We might have to find a new land just to get all these homes uh, or get enough places for homes because yeah, well, we got this area over here, but I mean, we've pretty much done quarter of the map in farming homes already. All right, so residential area 2.0 is gonna start over here, I think. We're gonna start expanding out this way too. So I want actually, let's just, no, because that would take forever to build those. We'll just do it to there and that's all my timber. So we probably had about 75 timber there. So we'll be able to do that every time we have 75. And look at that, we're already at 51. That's how quickly this is gonna go. Let's wrap this around too. Keep these new residents happy. We'll throw some pubs and whatnot down, things that they like. Uh, do a marketplace over here. Do a pub over here. And we've learned in the past, always want to throw a fire station down as well. Where's the police station, by the way? I know there's one in the game. I think it's later on, though. Uh, obviously. All right, you know, we had this little area. We can build modest parks. That might make these guys happy. So here you go. Have the world's smallest park. Enjoy it. It costs money. I hope you really do like that thing. Okay, what do we got going on? There's a warning here. Fire? Oh, crap. Fire. Where? Where? Where's the fire? Uh, okay, actually, I could probably click it, right? Uh, I don't even see it. Looks like, I, I think that's my fire crew right there, so they must have dealt with it, so good! And we're also going to expand out to the best we can on this side. Uh, now we are encroaching into our timber territory, though, so we do have to acknowledge that. Let's just put that there like that, and we'll throw... Uh, actually, we're gonna need another road to wrap around, just like that. Keep all these dudes happy. Here you go, and there we go. So we are filling up these areas. It's getting a little more difficult to keep these lines perfect, but we should be able to at least get everybody a road at least. All right, another newspaper. Let's see what's going on today. Hey, not so bad. Maybe I shouldn't edit this one. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do this. Uh, we still have positive and no change at all, so that's always good. You don't want to play with the newspaper too much because people might start thinking and stuff. And you definitely don't want that. Okay, so what's going no on? Output storage is full. Okay, so we'll put another warehouse down right over here. And you know what? Put some more fisheries down. Everybody likes a fishery. Why free coast needed? Okay, so that must not be free coast. Oh, crap. There's going to be a limit on how many we can put down here. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't do any more that side. Can we do any more on this side? Yes, we can. Okay. Well, this is looking like all my coast. I don't think there's going to be anything else we need to put on the coast. So we're just going to max out our fisheries right now because these guys really don't like not having jobs. And I'm going to try and get them some. Uh, now, this road might be fun to deal with. Can we get this through here? No, we can't. So we're going to have to get crafty on how we want to do this. You know what? I'm going to bring the road all the way down from here. And we'll just wrap down the coastline here just like that. That should be everyone addressed. Now we need a warehouse as well. So throw the warehouse, try and keep the space as well done as possible. And once again, what are, what are we at? 65, almost maxed out. We'll throw another farming residence down here. Why don't we? All right, gotta be honest. We've had a standstill on the population. 3,530 minutes in, a little bit over that actually, but uh, I feel like we're doing okay. Definitely could do a little bit better. We're gonna do one row here like that. And we'll wrap this around. Actually, we don't even need to wrap it around. So what we're going to do, because all our areas needed to be utilized, we're going to put it like that. Yeah, sorry you're not happy right now. Let, let me work on that later. 
We got these little areas. Those can be built for parks and whatnot, because these people clearly need those things anyways. So, we'll deal with that later. Benefit being, this strategy is working. That's the... Oh, crap. Destroyed buildings. All right, well, is that because there wasn't a road there? Oh, yeah. Maybe they deserted them. I totally missed that. Uh, but yeah, this is actually working. We're profitable. I didn't know if we'd be profitable or not trying to do this. Looks like we're doing okay, so that's good. And... Bam. We're going to put another big road down here like so. And we'll just wrap around from the other side. And back to the old residence. Well, technically, actually, they're not that old. How are we doing, actually? 4,300. We were close to five a minute ago, so it's going up and down like crazy. Again, we got to fill these homes. Uh, the one way to do that, from what I understand, is happiness, but also jobs. <laughs> I'm trying to give you guys jobs. I really am. Oh, man. We're going to need some more farmer's fields, I think, somewhere. And I'm trying to figure out where. You know what? We could probably expand out over here with some... Let's do some of these smaller farmer's fields, though, because they're taking up a lot of space. So what we're going to do is uh, sheep farms. Sheep farms are actually pretty good. And you know what? We can probably... Oh, crap. Another fire? Okay, hold on. We'll deal with that in a second. Let's just get this sheep farm set up. And that should be good like that. What, what are we doing, working with here? Uh, oh, shoot. Um, wow, that is a lot of fire. Okay, where's the closest fire station? Um... All right, you know what? We're going to have to put another one here. There it is, right over here. Looks like they are going out, but we need all the help we can get. That's right in the middle of town once again, of course. Damn it, man. All right, that's going to set us back a little bit as well. All right, but we can't watch that. We got to keep moving, man. Keep building the farmer's villages, man. All right, fire sounds to be put out. Just got to fix those ruins up, so there we go. Still building some sheep farms and whatnot, so yeah, we're doing fine. And now we're at 4-5. What are we at? 40 minutes in. Ooh, man, we might have a little bit of a struggle here doing this strategy. And now I'm just trying to fill all these spaces that we kind of left empty over here. I mean, it's not perfect, but we're over the five now. We are losing a little bit of money, so that's worrisome. Having some inventory issues, but overall, amazingly, this is going all right. What do we got now? What's going on? Another fire? Oh, that must have been the old one. It's just warning me again for some reason. Interesting. Okay, we're getting some real traction now. I'm not sure if it was the coast that did it. But, yeah, you can see we definitely got some numbers now. 6,000 going up and down. We hit 7 for a little bit there. Uh, so that's good. That's real good. Uh, let's just put that like that. We're going to start building houses down here. Now, I know we're encroaching into my farming area. I think most of the... Where's the loggers at? So, yeah, the lumberjack huts kind of reach over to here. So let's build a road this way, and we'll build to the left of this road. But yeah, there's lots of room over here, as you can see, to build another residential area. So we're going crazy, man. Going crazy with the homes. And 6,700. Now we only have enough to there, so it only makes sense to put it to there. Get that road down. And once again, I mean, we are just popping up the neighborhoods. All right, got to keep these people happy. So we're throwing more sheep farms down as well. Throw some uh, makers over here as well. There we go. Okay, so hopefully, let's see how the happiness is doing. That's going up rapidly. Need that market, man. Okay, we just got to address all the happiness right now. I think that will help a lot. There's the market. Couldn't find it there for a second. Uh, that should hopefully... Yeah, there we go. So we got to make sure markets are in range. It's really important. So looks like now, as you can see, our close is going up too. We'll throw another market down over here. There we go. Yes, this is good. Oh, I forgot we're building over here too. Oh my god, okay, so this is great though. What are we at? 7,000! The big 7k! We're making our way. Oh man, this is, I don't I don't know, man. What are we at? Only 50 minutes in, so... Feels like I'm doing good. Not sure how good, though. Thing is, I'm trying to build as fast as possible. I know there's a computer on the line for one of you lucky individuals, so... I'm trying my best, guys. We'll see how we can do here. I'm curious to see how the competition does. Okay, there's the big 8K. Let's see what we're working with here. Getting a little laggy, guys. I'm actually, I'm seriously running out of space on my island. Like, look at this. We got a little bit of green over here. We're gonna have to utilize. I think we got enough room, though. That's the important part. Uh, what, what's going on now? Another fire? Surprise, surprise. Looks like we're okay once again. So the firefighters are doing their job, man. Okay, so probably the easiest way to get more area in here is to bring out a road this way, and we're going to start building down here. 
Again, got to keep those markets going, though. Oh, man, we're having timber issues. Maybe I should throw a few more timber huts down. Problem is, you need land for timber, and I don't really have land right now. So I'm thinking, let's just wait a little bit for this. And what else can we do with their happiness? Because happiness is important. We need a market here. Perfect. This is going to help. There we go. Spread it out. We should put the markets, like, right in the middle of the field here. So I haven't been totally strategic in that regard. But, I mean... We can't be perfect when we're rushing. Oh my god, 9-2. I haven't been paying attention to it. I don't know if I went over or not. But I am going to have to really pay attention to that now to see. I'm just trying to put houses down to see if we can somehow get lucky and go over the Big Ten. Oh uh, my god. Okay, so we had a lot of room over here. So yeah, we're just going to go from this side. How much do we got? 75. Perfect. This should help us push to the Big Ten. Come on, baby. Let's see it. So close. Again, let's not rush too far ahead, though. We got to make sure these guys are happy. And I want to make sure we're doing everything right. So we'll throw a market down here. There we go. 9-2. I think it dropped a little bit. Oh, come on, baby. All right. At this point, I'm just building homes, guys. But unfortunately, I am having a bottleneck of timber once again. I wonder, you know what? We have time. Let's just do it. Keep our eye out on the, on the population. It's actually dropping right now. We need to get some timber in the bank and a warehouse because I know we'll need one. There we go. So we're going at about 72%. I should have put that warehouse a little bit further away. That's all right. 9-6. Oh, man. I got I got to pay attention to it because I know it's going to go over soon. Here we go. The big push right now. Going for it. Come on, baby. Come on. 9-3. Oh, it just goes up and down like crazy, man. All right. N another market. Why not? We got the money to do so. Keep these people happy. Uh, pub, I guess. I'm just trying to make you guys as happy as possible. Okay, officially, we are pretty much out of area over here, too. So I'm just going to go down to one. Actually, we don't have the timber right now. Nine, eight. Come on. Oh, God damn it. I went down again. All right, throw the houses down. Throw the houses down. Nine, seven. Come on. Every time I throw houses down, it actually drops. So nine, five. Okay, we'll just, just keep going. We had some room over here I was working on. Trying to get a couple homes down. Nine, five. Oh. I hate you so much sometimes. Now, I'm, I'm going into my lumber yard, but that's okay. Because I think we're about to pass it here, hopefully. Maybe I jinxed it there. Ten! There it is! Okay, time, time, time! Oh, stop! Okay, so a little bit delayed on the stop of the time. But we did it in under an hour. Whew, it went down again, but it was over ten. Uh, that's for damn sure. And that's the whole goal, is to get it over ten. Doesn't need to stay over ten. Oh, man. So, that was an event to say the least. <laughs> and like I said, this is not how you're supposed to play this game, but if you just want sheer population, uh, this is definitely a good way to do it from what I found. So, I'm pretty happy with that. 57-ish minutes, 58, to get to the big 10K. I don't know if that's enough to uh, win this. I hope it is for your guys' sake. Because uh, the winner, or one of the viewers of the winner, does get a chance to win a brand new PC. So, yeah. So, yeah, once again, I want to thank Ubisoft for sponsoring this video and giving you guys a chance to win an awesome PC. This whole challenge thing's really fun, too. I hope the next one we have to go deeper into the game because population is fun. Uh, but this game is very beautiful, very complex, and uh, there is multiple tiers to go down uh, for you to enjoy. Now, like I said at the start, the open beta for this game is live now between the 12th and 14th of April. So if you want to check it out, there'll be a link in the description where you can do so. Thank you guys so much for watching and liking. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, very quick-paced episode. Weeks. And yeah, let me know what you guys are thinking of Anno 1800. I personally love city-building games, so this one is one of the best out there, and uh, I'm having a blast playing it. Anyways, thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next one.